How's it going everyone? Manus Pada here bringing another episode in the Pokemon TCG series. So today I'm going to be doing a first impressions of a new deck. Uh, I've decided to pick up an old theme deck for a change. It's been a while since I've played one and I'm actually really looking forward to it. I enjoy playing the old theme decks. So as you see I've gone down quite, a, <laughs> quite far down the list now. And the next deck is from the Sun and Moon series, Rocksteady. Now I'm pretty sure I've never played this deck before so I'm really keen to check it out. So I'm going to be doing a first impressions of it, going through all the cards, seeing what they like and then jumping to a few games. So, without further ado, let's jump into this deck. So, let's pick it up and let's see what's inside of it. Yeah, pretty cool like a rock coin. Okay, Buffalant, 120 HP, so it's nice and tanky actually. Buffalant, Buffalant Head. Um, during your turn, doing your opponent's next turn, this Pokemon takes 30 less damage from attacks. Okay, great, so it's a good staller, and then knock over, you may discard any stadium card and play. Again, that's not really relevant, but hey, that 30, it's a quite a nice store card. It's only one of it as well, so hey. I was gonna Sork. Quick Guard, prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from basic Pokemon during your opponent's next turn. This Pokemon can't use Quick Guard during your next turn. All right, interesting. And then Brick Break, this attack's damage isn't affected by resistance or any effects from your opponent's active Pokemon. All right. So it's quite stally already. Which is interesting, because both those Pokemon are quite stally. Alright. So we're going to go for a late game, which I'm a bit scared of. Rialu, Punch and Low Kick for 10 and 30 respectively. Uh, one, one Retreat cost at least, and 70 HP. So it's it's alright. It's not fantastic, but it's alright. Got a Lucario, 120 HP. Stance. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may prevent all effects of your opponent's attacks, including damage done to this Pokemon until the end of your opponent's next turn. Okay, that's quite cool. So you can bring Rialu into the access slot and then evolve into Lucario, but basically a turn free from damage. Pretty cool. And then Submarine Blow for 120 damage. Hits pretty hard. This Lucario hits surprisingly hard. That's three Pokemon so far with stalling, stalling moves, which is quite interesting. Okay, another one off. Okay, uh, Solrock double draw. Uh, Solar Heat, we've seen this quite a few times. It's it's pretty decent for the double draw ability. I think there's two of on this deck. Hey, Rhyhorn, Lunge Art and Horn Draw. It's a bit expensive for what it does, but hey, it's not bad. And the three retreat costs. So once this Pokemon comes in, it's it's staying in. 80 HP, decently tanky. Again, it's weakness Grass, which is. It's not super relevant because there's not a, lot, not a whole lot of people playing the Rillaboom deck. Oh, I guess I was a ride on. Rock Tumble. 80 damage for 3 is not bad. This attack's damage isn't affected by resistance. And then Mega Horn. Flip a coin if tails, this attack does nothing. Okay, so that attack is never going to deal damage for me. Um, this Pokemon is very energy hungry. No wonder you want to stall with this deck. It's super energy hungry. I really hope there's a way to accelerate this. I don't know how this Pokemon can actually go off. Oh, this deck actually runs Rhyperia? Another one of. Why are there so many one offs in this deck? 160 H HP, so it's decently tanky at least. Toppling Wind. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may discard the top three cards of your opponent's deck. Well, that's quite cool. I like that. And then Rock Wrecker. This attack's damage isn't affected by weakness or resistance. This Pokemon can't attack during your next turn. Uh, okay, look, the 170 damage is really cool, but you then deaden the water for another turn, with a 4 retreat cost. Okay, um, yeah, it's, it's alright. It, look, it throws out a lot of damage, and it's going to KO most things on that turn. I don't, I don't like that it can't attack two turns in a row. For 4 energies, my word, okay. Runs Esper. Uh, perplexing Eyes. The defending Pokemon's weakness is now Psychic until the end of your next turn. Okay. Oh, Meowstic. Allure. Draw three cards. Very nice. And Hind... Hand? Kinesis? Hand Kinesis. Alright. This attack does 10 damage for each card in your hand. Ooh, Interesting. Okay. Interesting. I actually quite like this Meowstic. On average, you're probably dealing around 50 damage though, so it's not fantastic. But interesting, I like it. 
Rockruff corner. The depending Pokemon can't retreat during your opponent's next turn. Interesting. Uh, and then Wild Kick. Flip a coin. If Tails, the attack does nothing. Again, an attack that's never going to do any damage for me. 60 HP. I would prefer to see 70. Um, 60 is a bit of an awkward range. But hey. And here is the Lycan Rock, the mascot for the deck. That's not that great. 110 HP for Rock Throw of 30 and Excella Rock of 100. Eh. Okay. Um, I, I guess that's a thing. It's not great. It's really not great. Um, beautiful card. Very, uh, very regal card art. But the actual attacks are pretty meh. Okay, well that's the Pokemon. Um, I don't know. It's, they're interesting. It's very stall -y. I guess you have to use those Pokemon to stall out as long as you can. Okay, let's see if there's energy acceleration here. Timer Ball, Rescue Stretcher, Nest Ball, Escape Rope, always good to see Escape Rope, especially with the things like um, the uh, Rhyhorn line with a high energy cost. Energy Retrieval, that'll be good to see. Potion, good to see. Oh, Brooklyn Hall, actually run the Stadium card. Once during each player's turn, their player may search the deck for a Water Pokemon or a Fighting Pokemon, Basic Pokemon, and put it onto their bench. All right. Eh, it's not bad. Um, prof. Ace Roller? Put one of your Pokemon that has any damage counts on it and all cards attached to it into your hand. Okay. I quite like this, actually. Hmm. I quite like it as a way to just basically pull out one of your Pokemon that's in serious trouble. It's like once you've gotten the attack off with Rhyperia. Oh, but you're so far behind the energies then. It's getting those energies back. I wish this deck ran Groudon. Ooh, it runs Wishful Baton. If, this, if the Pokemon this card is attached to is your active Pokemon is knocked out by damage, but upon attack, move to three basic energy cards. Okay, this is huge that it actually runs this. Okay, that's not bad. Um, It's only a one-off again. This deck runs a lot of one-offs. Like one, one, one. One rap area. Okay, fun, luckily two Lycan Rocks. It's actually got a lot of one-offs. It feels like it's not a 60 card deck, it's weird. Um, all right, this is gonna be quite interesting. So I think this Lycan Rock, the Rock City deck, it seems to want to stall out your opponent as long as possible until you charge up, which scares me because a lot of decks these days play quite a fast game. Right, let's see how this deck can perform. All right, everyone, now it's time to jump into a game and see how this deck performs. Now I'm playing against Lego Warrior 70. Um, Lego Warrior is actually a member of my Discord and that's how I set this game up. And I think it's really cool playing with the community and I really, really do enjoy it. So I'm really looking forward to this game. Um, so thanks so much Lego Warrior 70. I'm glad we could have this game. So if you want to do something like this, please do join the Discord. The link is down below. And yeah, let's grow this community and start playing together. I really do love getting it going and I think it's a great way to just connect the community and really have a, a lot more fun playing this game. So this is putting this new deck to the test. Um, I'm not sure how it's going to go. I'm a little bit worried, especially going against Unseen Depths. This is going to be tough um, and I'm quite keen for a difficult challenge. So I think I'm going to start off with Sork. Um, I think I want to start off with Sork to slow this game down a little bit. Um, yeah, this is going to be quite interesting. I've never played against this deck. Well, I've never played with this deck, so this is going to be very interesting. Uh, let's just keep it here. Well, I have never used this deck. So yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's keep this going. Um, got an Apom going. I'm really scared that Ambipom is going to come out next turn. That is not going to be a fun situation. So let's drop a draw three and see what we get. Um, okay, there's the ride on. So I'm really worried that there's going to be an Ambipom next turn. I'm not worried about Tail Smack at all. Uh, let's go... Let's get this Rhyhorn going. And let's pass over. So this is going to be a bit interesting. Um, if Ambipom comes out now, I'm going to be in a bit of trouble. 
And I might have to drop her rock rough to stay. Okay. Okay, that's really good that the, that M bomb did not come out. Okay. Um, from here, now I'm wishing I put the energy on Sork. Let's get this right area go this right on down. And let's put that on Sork. Let's see what happens. I don't want to play Prof this turn. So let's see what happens. I'm really hoping that Ember Palm doesn't come out. Let's see. Okay, here comes a Golduck. Which is going to be a bit scary. We're going to switch out into it. Ooh, not Fluff and Polion either. Wow, that's a lot of evolutions coming out. Okay, well, my opponent's basically set up. He has an energy loop, so this is going to be unfortunate. Um... Let's see how to do this. An orc attached to it into my hand. So I can get this I can get the stalk out of there, which I think I need to do. And I can just send Rock Ruff in, because I need that energy back. So let's get Sork out of there. Let's get Rock Ruff in. Let's get Sork back down. And let's drop that. I'm loving this trainer card. This trainer is really, really cool. Ace Roller. I like it. Um, because I'm much happier with a rock rough going down than with the Sork going down. And the reason I say that is because I can use Sork on my opponents, like Kyogre, and it's a bit more useful. Okay, so now Rhydon can come out. Now, unfortunately, it's just not enough to pick up, pick up a KO, even with Prof, which is a bit sad. I would have liked that KO, but hey. Let's drop Prof and let's see what we get. Okay, there's Buffalon, which isn't a bad thing. Um, oh no, having connection problems. Okay, let's drop this energy. Let's get Rock Tumble off. It's 100 damage, which unfortunately is just short. Um, so this is a problem because now that Empoleon's going to come in next turn and cause a lot of problems for me. Um, yeah, still going to be a KO. I need to get myself a potion here. That was not a potion, unfortunately. Okay. Um... Oh man, I keep having connection problems. Must be around 9 o'clock. Always have connection problems around 9 o'clock. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to get this KO regardless, but unfortunately I think this, this ride on is just going down. So what do I want to come in next? I can't actually have any of these because Empoleon just shuts them down. Mm. Guess let's get Rahorn going. Because I can bring back the Rhydon this next turn. And let's just go for a Rock Tumble. Fortune is all I can do. Um. The Empoleon is going to come in next turn and be a bit of a problem. Oh man, that Empoleon super early was frustrating. Okay, there's Time of Orb. So maybe I can use Pokemon Stretcher and then instead use Time of Orb. The problem is I have to get lucky with that, which is always scary. Because I tend to not be that lucky. Okay, um... The problem is the Rhydon can't even attack. The fact that Rhydon can't attack is a problem. Okay, it will live. Uh, how many practice and how many games are we gonna have? Okay, um, I want to get this evolution going. So I put my Dispot card pile into my hand. Let's put that. Uh, let's put that Rhydon back in. I should have actually put Rhyhorn up front. Um, let's do that. Let's thin my deck a little bit. Okay, and let's see. Let's bring out this Lycan Rock and let's bring out this Rhydon. Just to give the deck a little bit thinner. And 
Hopefully I can use these cards sooner rather than later. Not much else I can do here, so let's just charge up this Rhydon. I don't know if it's actually going to be able to come online. Um, let's see, so let's say... Let's have this as the practice. Let's have this as the practice. Practice. And go into the real game next. Right, so we can have this one as a bit of a practice game. Um, let's get this wrap this right on down. Again, it's not going to really help, unfortunately, because I think this is a 100% game. As uh, there's not much else I can do here. Because this route is going to go down next turn. Oh man, this connection. I think I need to reset my game. Yeah, direct dive. That's good. The problem is, this is going to carry on happening. Um, I keep on drawing all of the psychic energy in. It's like the type I don't need. Oh, that's frustrating. Um, let's put an odd deck. Uh, I think I need to get a bit more used to it first. Um. It's so energy hungry. I'm surprised there's no acceleration. I'm really surprised there's no acceleration. This connection is irritating me though. Right, let's see. Um, how do I come back from this? So I genuinely don't know if I can. Alright, back. Got really bad disconnection issues there. Um, to jump back into this game, I do think that Lego Warrior has this game in the bag with the Charge Up Napoleon ready. Um, I definitely fall behind in, in this, unfortunately. And yeah, it's it's the joys of learning a new deck. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Uh, so yeah, this is very interesting. This deck does seem a bit challenging in the sense that you basically got to commit to a Pokemon, charge up with all the energy. And either then wish for baton it out of there, or lose it. Uh, so it's a bit scary. Um, I prefer the decks where you can play around a bit more with your energy. I tend to not like overcommitting to a single Pokemon. Um, and it's got a way to actually energy accelerate, which this deck doesn't seem to have, which is very strange. But now with my opponent having this Empoleon online, um, I'm not so sure about this anymore. It's not looking so great. <laughs> As a way to get out of this. So again with the psychic energies, which I really don't need. Uh, so let's retreat into this bufflant, get a bit of damage off. But again, this really is like token damage because even getting through Empoleon is gonna take forever. And when I do get through Empoleon, I then gotta somehow get through Ambipom. Which yeah, that's gonna be interesting. Um as for what I can do next, I'm not sure. I was really hoping to get Lucario online or to get the Lycanroc online. Or even this Meowstic, quite frankly. And none of that has happened. And now I'm so behind in energy, I don't think there is a comeback. So looking back, look, I didn't have a great start. I don't think I played this the start to the best. Oh, there's a Wishful Baton, which I needed earlier. Um, so I do think that this is the end of it. But hey, let's see what happens. There's a 14 of the ride on, and that's a 100% game. So yeah, well played Lego Warrior. That's, yeah, great plays on their side. And unfortunately, not so great on mine. So yeah, this was a good first game. Um, I don't know how this deck is going to hold up. Yeah, GG Le uh, Lego Warrior. 100% uh, GG. I don't know how this deck's gonna hold up. It's certainly dated. Um, yes, we're just trying to find a way to way to make it win. Cool. So I definitely want to jump into another game, and I'll pick up the video again when I get into it. All right, jumping to the second deck against Lego Warrior. We've now got a slightly better idea of how the deck functions, and Lego Warrior actually jumped into using the new Zamazenta deck.
which will be quite cool. So I'm going to try and go first. This deck doesn't have great support to start in the first turn. So I think going first might be a little bit better. Um, all right, I'm glad I got Brooklet Hill. That's going to be super useful in this game. Huh. Right. This is going to be interesting. So, uh, we've got sort of a Rhyhorn, which is something, I guess. And Brooklet Hill, which I can get down. Um, let's get a Nest Ball down to bring out Rockruff. And then let's use Brooklet Hill to bring out Lucario. Ah, Rialu, no. No. Are all of my Rialu's prize cards? All three of them are prize cards. You've got to be joking. Oh my word. Okay. So Rock, it's your turn this game then, my friend. Um, what in the word is that? How, um, how is that even possible? All three of them are prize cards. Well, at least I can like and rock off this game. <laughs> that is super frustrating. Okay. Uh, my opponent went down to Rookie D, which is going to be a bit frustrating because they're going to be taking 30 less damage from me. Uh, so I'm really hoping to draw into uh, Meowstic on this next turn. Um, if I don't... I don't know if I want to go into Soul Rock. I'm doing 10 damage a turn. Um... I don't know what the right answer is here. Well, on the plus side, Sork will be a bit more useful, which I, which I can bring out. Because Sork can shut them down. Um, okay, Pokemon Stretcher doesn't really help me that much. Again, uh, let's bring out Sork, because it's at least a bit useful this game. Let's get Sork down. Let's go into Soul Rock. And what I actually want to use Soul Rock for is just drawing power. Try and get some card advantage going. Because the Stadium Heat's just not going to do anything. Um, there's Wishful Baton, which is not bad. Um, so I can use that on one of my Pokemon a bit later down the line. And let's see, what does my opponent do here? Okay, so what am I building into? Okay, again, Solar Heat's only going to deal 10 damage, so it's not really worth it. Okay, let's use Brooklyn Heal one more time to bring something out. Um, let's bring out another Rockruff, because going into a second Lacken Rock's a bit easier. And... Where does this energy go? I think this energy goes onto Rockruff. Oh, onto Lacken Rock, sorry. And then let's keep on going for double draw. Let's see, okay, there's the energy, so at least the energies are coming out now. Um, Drill Pick's not going to knock me out in this next turn, which will give me enough time to get Lycanroc online. And once Lycanroc is online, I will be able to uh, use Acceleroc and hopefully pick up... Oh, I won't even pick up a KO. Oh, that's super frustrating, it's not even going to be a KO. The Wishful Baton down before I forget. And... I need to actually go for Solar Heat. Just to get a KO in the next turn. What's scary is that you added on the back line will be able to pick up a KO against me. Okay, Draw Pick does pick up this KO. Uh, does mean I can bring in Lacquered Rock on this next turn and, and I will be able to pick up a KO. Uh, so I'll be able to trade with my opponent in that sense. Again, I want to use Brooklyn Hill just to keep cycling out of my deck. Let's bring that Rhyhorn down. Uh, I've got nothing else I want to do here. So let's go. I just want to see something quickly with... Um, with a baton. If Pokemon's card attached to his knockout back to Pokemon knockout damage from an opponent's attack, move three basic energy cards from that Pokemon to one of your bench Pokemon. I presume that procs first before I've got a switch. So let's go for Accelerock. Okay, even through the resistance, resistance, I do get it. Uh, there's a draw fee. Super happy to see that. Okay, Bishop's gonna come out. It's gonna be, it's gonna take two turns to get through this Bishop, which is a bit frustrating. 
Oh, nice. They're gonna get a two-turn KO with that. Very cool. Okay, um, in the meantime, let's get a draw three and see what we get. Okay, um, I'm now loaded with energies, which don't really help me that much. I can start charging up a Rhyhorn for down the line. Um, and yeah, let's just go Accelerock. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to trade for my opponent the next turn. Um, it's not ideal, but at least it will happen. I like this Bishop off when you've got um, a Pawnyard down. One energy for 60 damage is not bad at time. Hey, down time. Let's see. Hmm. I'm gonna go paper. Paper, paper, scissors. Ah, they're in rock. <laughs> well played. <laughs> um. Okay, charge order is gonna pick up the KO. Let's move these three energies over to rock rough. And let's bring rock rough in. Um, you know what? I'm actually going to bring in Rhyhorn. And the reason for that is this Rhyhorn can actually pick up the knockout here. I'm going to go for Pokemon Stretcher from Discord Pile. Let's put Rockruff back into, uh, Lycan Rock back into my hand. You can see this will get the KO regardless because then Duradon will come in and I'll be able to get damage off before getting knocked out. So I want to use this. I've got no more cards left. Okay. Let's get this evolution going. I've got nothing else to do here. We got a Soul Rock. Soul Rock's not bad. One energy for 40 damage. It's decent. And let's lunge out for the KO. Now, unfortunately, I am putting myself two turns behind in energies here, which is not ideal. There's Rialu, which means I can finally go into Lucario. Um, but again, Lucario requires three energies, which is a bit frustrating. Um, it'll be great if that Wishful Baton like switched as well, so that Luc when this Lycan Rock went down, I'll be able to then get that energy back. Though, to be fair, that would be broken. Okay, so now let's bring in this Lycan Rock. Let's get this Rialu down. I need to remember to not evolve the Rialu. Okay, what do I want to go into next? Do I want to go into Rhydon? Um, still, it's going to be a two turn KO. Lucario is 120, which means it's 90 damage. Which means Lucario will be a two-turn KO. Um, but it requires three fighting energies. So I'm going to need to draw another fighting energy. Let's see. Let's go for 100 damage off here. And unfortunately I'm going to have to just let my Pokemon go down for a bit. I will be able to stall a little bit of Sork. But I don't know if I want to commit that energy. That's what I'm sticking at the moment. I don't know if I really want to commit that energy. So I think that this Rhydon might just be evolution fodder for Rapparia. Okay. Um, I think Solrock, my friend, you're just going to have to go down. Got a Lycan Rock. I don't think I'm going to be able to go into it. Unfortunately, now I'm running out of energy. That's my big problem. Is this energy is really starting to um, come into effect. The fact that I'm not able to bring, I'm not able to accelerate, is starting to become a problem. Hmm. So I'll be able to bring in Rialu and with Stance, we'll pick up the KO. Okay, there's the Rap area, which we're going to take three cards at the top of the deck, which is arguably good in this sense. Um, okay, uh, from here, what do I want to do? The Psyche Energy does nothing for me. Um... Hmm. I wish Lucario wasn't three fighting. Ah. There's no way I'm going to get Rapparia going. 
I think just Bufflant makes the most sense. Just because it's slightly tanky. I should actually put on double draw there. I should put on Sorok for the double draw. That was actually a misplay. Sorok double draw would have been much more useful. Yeah, this deck really does suffer from just requiring too much energy. Way too much energy with no acceleration. The issue is here, even if, I, even if I pick up this KO, I'll survive the next turn, but then I'll go down. I don't have anything else to go into. I should have done the Soul Rock draw, because now I can't even attack. Why is that even a question? 100% yes. Um, that is game though. Ah oh, man, I really needed to draw that fighting energy there. I should have put that energy on Sorok and gone for the double draw. Ah, oh, that was a huge mistake. Well, this is going to be a KO for this deck. Um, wow, my opponent's had a really nice game. Well done. Really just show showcases I'm Zenta deck really well. And I have to pass the turn, unfortunately. I've got nothing. Yeah, well played LEGO Warrior 70. Nice game, and again, thank you for the games. Yeah, GG, my friend, well played. So yeah, if you do want to have games against me, please do join the Discord, and I can definitely set up some games. Hey, and we get to see Iron Wings go off. Nice finisher, I like it. Cool, well played. All right, so unfortunately there's two losses with this deck. I'm gonna jump into at least one more, and just try and showcase the deck a bit more. All right, welcome everyone. Having again a game against Vipex Sobel. Again, Vipex Sobel from a Discord. And yeah, offered a challenge and Vipex accepted, which is really, really cool. So again, this is going to be the third test of this deck. I would like to do four tests with it. Um, hopefully I can pick up one win. <laughs> At this stage, I'm just going for a single win. Um, with these older decks, I really want to try and play them until I can at least get one win with them. Because it's starting to get super challenging with the older Sun, Sun and Moon decks. I'm terrified to go beyond that. Um, so it really is playing to a single win. I am luckily kind of playing into my opponent's weakness with this deck. Although I didn't start with it, which was a bit silly on my end. Um, but yeah, so this is going to be a bit interesting. This Stormcaller deck is always terrifying to play against, so hopefully I can actually pull it off. And I really hope I don't get Paralyzed locked. It's going to be really, really frustrating. Uh, let's see. Uh, please no paralysis. Oh man. That's frustrating. Um, well, this is awkward. Let's go into... Yeah, let's just go into Bufflant. Okay, well, let's see what happens. That, that was not great. <laughs> let's see. Okay, take two. Will I survive this? Well, I... Oh wait, now they confuse me, I think. Oh my word. Okay, I need to break through this confusion, otherwise I'm going to be in serious trouble. <laughs> oh no, don't let this happen to me. I have I have to go for this. No! Really? Really, Buffalant? No, and a third turn! <laughs> oh, this is going to be a very short game. <laughs> Wow, that was a terrible start. Oh my word. <laughs> that was awful. <laughs> First paralysis, then confusion. Oh my word. Well, this is probably going to be a super early GG. Um, right now, I need draws first. <laughs> Oh my word. Okay, um... What do I even do now? Honestly, I think this is just GG. <laughs> wow, that was a bad start. 
Um... <laughs> yeah, um, how do I get out of this? Everything requires so much energy. Uh, stadium card, I'm gonna help me. Rialu. Meowstick? M maybe Meowstick? If I can draw. Oh, I didn't even know if this is gonna work. Um. I don't, I don't know what to play. Um, you know what? Let's put that energy there. Let's use this just for the free switch. <laughs> uh, let's put Rockruff down again. To try and bait out and let's go for a casual 20 damage punch i cannot believe how badly this game went <laughs> oh my word um wow oh that's not gonna work they're gonna get prof off holy cow vipex sobble can i have some of your luck my friend <laughs> yeah this is gg <laughs> Oh, this is terrible. Um, I don't think I've ever seen a better start. <laughs> like, no jokes. Oh my word, like all I can do is laugh or cry at this point. Um, I guess let's charge up Rhyhorn. I think this might be GG. Um... <laughs> Oh, I cannot believe how well this game went for my picks. <laughs> Draw three, can I get an evolution? No, I can't. <laughs> Let's go for lunch. Right, um, let's try this one more time and jump into a fourth game. So far, we've had three losses with this deck. Um, I would not recommend this deck. I got really lucky with a 2 and 3. Yeah, Vipex, you got super lucky, my friend. Not taking anything away from you, but like, this was the perfect start. I don't know if you could have had a better start. Um, yeah, well played, my friend, well played. Let's jump into one more, and hopefully I can get a bit luckier. <laughs> uh, okay, let's try one more. All right. Trying Rocksteady one more time. Let's see if we can pick it off. Um, yeah, the deck's called Rocksteady. I don't feel Rocksteady at all playing this deck. Uh, I'm going first. Which means I could turn to... What do I think? Oh, I've got no fighting energy. Let's go Rhyhorn. I don't know what the right play is here, but let's go Rhyhorn. Um, turn to Lunge Art I can do regardless because I don't need two fighting energies. Let's see. Okay, got the fighting energy regardless, but again, I think I'll drop a Psychic Energy there just in case. Okay, let's see if we can have a bit of a bit, a bit of a better game. Um, we're gonna need to get super lucky with Rhyhorn and go all the way to Rhyperia. And hopefully draw a wishful button, baton, sorry, baton. I don't know why I'm speaking terribly this morning. Okay, um, let's see. I wish the deck had energy acceleration, my word. The thing is, I feel like this deck just falls so short because it just doesn't have energy acceleration and it's so, so energy hungry. It's just terrifying. Um, so let's go for the prof because I want to get some damage off this turn Okay, I've got lots of energy here. I would like to get some evolutions going next turn Let's see I will be picking up a KO next turn as long as I don't get KO'd Though I don't think I can get KO'd this turn from uh, not gonna dull because my opponent shouldn't have energies in the discard pile yet 
Um, so I should be able to pick up an Archaea with this Rhyhorn. Oh, come on, don't get another Ampharos going. Oh. Why does Time of War never work for me, but always works for my opponents? That's just not fair. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. I do need to get a ride on this next turn. Um, if I don't, I'm going to be very far behind, and that's going to be a big problem. Regardless, I'm going to be able to get a horn draw off next turn. So honestly, if I'm able to get either Wish or Baton or a ride on, I'm going to be happy with this next draw. If I don't get either of those, I'm going to be in a bit of an awkward position. Um, so I think it really does come down to what my next draw is going to be. I wish this deck ran two Wish or Batons. Okay, 100%, that's going down. That is huge. I'm really, really glad I got that. Book and Heal is good as well because it means I can start pulling out stuff from my um, deck and I want to get myself a Soul Rock going. Okay, the right on there are two in the deck, so I just need to bring them out somehow. Yeah, this can go down. Uh, I should have actually brought up Meowstic. Um, Esper, sorry, not Meowstic. That's alright. Let's get this energy down onto Rhyhorn. And yeah, let's get it going. Horn draw. Okay, so we got, off, we got the first KO, which is good. There's a Lycan Rock, which is also quite good. So I can wish a baton into Rock Ruff, rock rough, which is exciting. Um, I can use Meowstic as a bit of a draw. Do we see Ampharos? I'm waiting for that Ampharos. I'm pretty sure my opponent has an Ampharos. Because they didn't use Town Ball to bring it out. It's either in the hand or it's in the prize pool. Which one is it? It's a prize pool. Okay. Let's see. Um, oh, I can't bring out Esper with this. I actually forgot. That's super frustrating. Um, I guess let me get a rock rough down. Alright, you're back. Sorry, I got disconnected there for a second. Um... I think let me bring out a rock rough. I keep this going. All right, so I can wish for a baton into this rock rough, and I can start charging up the next one in the meantime. So let's get that going. And let's see, do we get super lucky with horn draw? Come on, come on, come on! Yes, we got through four change. Okay, that's horn draw through. Let's see. Hey, we got an Esper. That's actually huge because it means I can go into Meowstic. Um, which is quite interesting. Okay, um... I might actually want to go into Soul Rock on this next turn. Uh, because I need seven cards in hand to get rid of this Nugget Adele by using Meowstic. Um, so I want to get some draws off. It might take too long to come online though. Hmm, can you get the energies there as well, which is the problem. Okay, again, this is thin my deck a little bit. Um... Soul Rock again, it's just reliable. It's just one energy. Soul Rock is super reliable. Um, yeah, I think this is a good thing just to get damaged out with the Solar Heat. Because it means I can go into Lycan Rock on the next turn and then pick up the KO. I think that's a better way of doing it. I think that'll work. I just need to preserve this next fighting energy. Okay, let's get this Soul Rock out of there because I don't want to give my opponent a free KO. Uh, let's get this energy down onto uh, Rock Ruff. Let's get the evolution going. I might just use Meowstic as a draw mechanic later down the line. And let's go for Exilla Rock. Cool. Um, so that's another KO. So we're actually looking a bit better this game. 
There's another Esper, uh, which at the moment I don't really need. I don't think I'm going to be able to use it. I feel like this deck commits so much energy for not that much damage. Um, yeah, it's it's so much energy. It's so energy hungry. Oh, sorry. Ooh. Sorry about that. It's so energy hungry and it just doesn't do that much. Hmm. Honestly, I think, like, the only reason I'm doing relatively well in this matchup is because I'm playing into my opponent's weakness. Which is just super lucky. Um, oh, hey! Time boarded really well. Thank you, Timer Ball. Um, I really want to get a Rhyhorn down to go into Rhyperia. I mean, like, Lucario... They're both pretty bad, in all honesty. I'll just bring them out. I don't think I'm gonna get either one of them off anyway. Um, so let's get the psychic energy down on Meow Stick. And let's go for some damage. Oh, uh, shame. <laughs> oh, I don't actually have to use Rescue Stretcher. I'm sorry, my friend. <laughs> uh, it really does suck when you have that moment when you just wanna kick yourself in the face. When you made a huge error. I'm wondering if they would have been able to use Sprint. I think this is game though because of the weakness. Because I've got another Lycan Rock in the back, which is ready to go. So I might have been lucky and actually be able to pick up a KO with this deck. Oh, pick out a win with this deck. Oh, there's another ride on. Alright. Um, yeah, this is probably going to be game now. Well, yeah, so thanks so much to Vipix Sobol. I really appreciate the games. Um, it was really fun. I enjoyed playing against everyone in this video. I would like to do this again in the future. I think it's a really fun way of doing it. Uh, again, also thanks to LEGO King. It really was a lot of fun playing. So in the future, I'll definitely put out requests like this. And if you want to have games, do just drop requests down in the Discord. Join the Discord. And when I'm going to have a game, I'll put that request out. And again, if you're a content creator and you've got your own YouTube channel, I'd love to play against you. And I really want to organize some games for that in the future. Um, as for my first impressions on Rocksteady, I do not feel steady playing this deck. It's a very worrying deck to play because it's, it's so energy hungry without that acceleration. So yeah, I think that's basically where I'll leave it there. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be playing with this deck again. Uh, the 3 to 1 is not the ratio I want to have. Well, 1 to 3 is not the ratio I want to have. Um, so yeah, thanks so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy it. Again, please do join the Discord. I want to get this community going. I think we've got a ho really wholesome Pokemon community. And I want to get it growing as much as possible. If you did like the video, please do consider the like and subscribe. It really does help me out. When I get those 500 subscribers, I'll be doing 5 Pokemon Sword and Shield uh, boost pack giveaway. Uh, so yeah, there's an incentive to getting to 500. So, as always everyone, thanks so much for watching, and enjoy.